guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my seven and eighth month pregnancy update. So I am currently 34 weeks pregnant. Things are happening. So much has happened actually since my last update. I had a virtual baby shower. I've kind of planned and almost finished the nursery. So there's a nursery tour coming soon. And I just have all kinds of stuff to update you on. So let's get into it. Ooh, so let's hope that I can get through this whole video without having to like get up and go to the bathroom. But in true fashion, I have my screenshot here of stuff that has happened in seven and eight months of being pregnant, and I will just cruise along through them. So first off, I have my virtual baby shower. So I'll insert some photos at the end of this video for you. It was so much fun. I am so grateful to my mom and sister for throwing me the baby shower. I was really hopeful many months ago. Um, if you're watching this video during 2020, I was really hopeful that quarantine would be done, life would be back to quote unquote normal in some ways, and that just has not happened. So I am pregnant during 2020. It has been quite a journey. I will definitely mention at the end of this video how it's not been a walk in the park in many ways. However, this video is not meant to be for complaining. Number one, I'm super grateful to be pregnant, um, especially with a healthy baby who's happy and doing really well in there and everything is going great. So I am beyond grateful and thankful but I also want to keep it real and relate to mamas on my channel. So if you are expecting, planning on having a baby, you have kiddos yourself, it's fun to share these things. So that's what I have to say about that. So anyway, back to my virtual baby shower. Um, again, pictures at the end for you, but I did end up getting a lot of things that are going to help me so much, especially when the baby is first here. So I, I'm just feeling so overwhelmingly blessed. So we got things like um, a swaddle me, something for the baby to sit in. It's sort of like a, what is it called? A recliner, oh my gosh, first time mom brain. Um, but it's basically a baby lounger that can kind of move up and down, a bouncer. Um, baby seats, snuggle me organic that my parents got me. My mom got me an infant car seat. Um, my sister gave me the insert for the car seat. It's kind of like a stroller attachment. We have a stroller and outfits and diapers and wipes and we are just so beyond grateful and thankful. So that was a really huge success. We had, um, my sister set it up. So she did like kind of a ring light with a video and we had everybody sort of log on. And it was really nice because honestly, if I had one in person, I would have had way less people there. So I was able to see so many faces during quarantine. Um, family from out of town, people that totally couldn't have traveled and been here for it were able to attend virtually. I showed my nursery to them, at least how it was looking so far, and it was just so much fun. So again, if you have any questions about a virtual shower or how I did it, go ahead and ask me in the comments below and I will be happy to tell you. It was actually way easier than I thought it was going to be, and I did my registry on BabyList, so babylist.com. If I recommend anything to a mom that's expecting, I found out about BabyList like basically after I made a whole registry on Target. So I made a registry on Target, which was cool and they have great stuff. I know Amazon has great ones, um, Bye Bye Baby, all these things. But BabyList, you're able to link things from Amazon, Target, Bye Bye Baby, um, Nordstrom's, whatever. You name it. I'm also very winded, so I apologize. 34 weeks pregnant is like no joke, but all my organs are like smashed in there and the baby's taking up all the room. <laughs> but anyway, I highly recommend baby list. Check it out. It's so easy to register for. It's really nice because it tells you who bought you a gift. They leave a little note, you know, who to thank for what they sent, um, even tracking information, all kinds of stuff. And honestly, it was nice because on the baby list, it'll say like, snuggle me organic and have different prices from all the different stores that they could go to. So it's also like a price option list. So it makes it super easy for people to log on, buy whatever it is that you really need and make it affordable. So highly recommend baby list. This is not sponsored by baby list, but in the future, if I have more babies, which I would love to have, um, I mean, I don't mind if they want to <laughs> sponsor me <laughs> nesting. <laughs> so I've been nesting like crazy. I cleaned out my pantry I have on my list here. So I went through one day, I was watching like Raw Christy Beauty on YouTube. She is so funny. If you are looking for like a hilarious, awesome channel for beauty, but also just keeping it real and she's also expecting her first baby. So funny. I love Raw Christy Beauty. Anyway, she was recommending 
I think it was HelloFresh or something, and I was like, okay, that's a great idea. I'm gonna try that, which we end up loving. But I cleaned out my entire pantry as she was talking about her baby and her um, finding out experience. I literally like reorganized everything, shelves, bottles, just all the stuff, and it felt really good. So I've been cleaning up my house, like running around like crazy, just putting everything away, boxing everything, deciding what fits in our drawers that we actually wear. The nesting phase is real. <laughs> It's amazing and honestly, it was really nice to have the burst of energy and just kind of go around my house and get stuff ready. Okay, kicking. So kicking has been happening like crazy. I don't know if you can see <laughs> the belly shot there, but right up here on the right side of my rib, he's just been getting me so good. And what's so crazy to me is you can feel something. Visually, it's like about yay big. Just kind of, hi mom. <laughs> so he's been kicking like crazy. It's um, definitely more than 10 times. He moves like almost like shampoo. <laughs> if you can picture like a whale or something just moving really slow. That's how I feel like he moves. He just sort of like slowly goes around in there and then sometimes jabs me and gets me good with his heel. So that's been really fun. I'm glad to know that he's doing good in there, but it's definitely like, whoa, he got me good. <laughs> oh yes. So I have on here maternity photos and, um, quick trip to Flagstaff. So we are in a quarantine. No, it's not possible to do like a full on vacation, but we did go to Flagstaff for two different times. So we went up for one day to do maternity photos, which was like a quick, you know, go up there, turn around and come home. It's only about two hours from our house. And then um, we did some in the desert too. So I saw two different photographers were doing like mini sessions and um, I will include some of those pictures too, some of our favorites from our maternity photos and the end of this video. If you're interested in knowing who they were or how the experience went for us, just leave me a message or you can email me and I'll send you all their info. But it was really nice for summer sales to not have to pay something crazy. I'm trying to save money for the baby, obviously. Baby things are very pricey and expensive, so it was a really nice treat. We did that and then also we went to Arizona. So my husband and my mom and I all got hotel rooms in Flagstaff and we took my sister's um, two sons, she has four babies, but we took two of them, the oldest and the youngest actually, and we drove them through Arizona for the day, which is basically a place in, is it Flagstaff? Near Flagstaff, um, somewhere, <laughs> I should know this. And you drive through and you look at bears and different animals and stuff. So that was really nice to kind of get out, go see something, do something fun with family, and just be able to sightsee a little bit for the day. Um, but yes, definitely loved our maternity photos. Definitely glad that we did them. And on the topic of maternity photos, I'm definitely realizing that 30 weeks when we did them was the perfect time for my body. So for me, I felt really good. I was definitely showing, I had some energy. So I would definitely say, hopefully if my next pregnancy is the same or future pregnancies, I would probably recommend doing 30 weeks. Um, but as a photographer myself, who's also shot these things, it's really fun and cool to know the flip side of it and to recommend to new moms or just expecting moms of any kind, you know, do it when you feel your best. So if you have like a burst of energy and you're seven months pregnant, eight months pregnant, I would recommend doing it then, not nine months. I mean, just from my experience so far, I feel like the earlier was better as long as you're showing and you feel comfortable. I loved it that way. So I showed this in my vlog <laughs> that I did and it's a baby prepping bag from Amazon. I will link it if you're interested. It's just sort of like a, I don't know what this is called, sort of soft woven material, but it has room for um, Velcro inserts and all kinds of baby stuff in there. I did show in my vlog, I have things like the Nose Frida. This is coming um, highly recommended from different moms to suck out baby's boogers basically. And then Little Remini's grape water, gas relief water. These are all natural for if baby's fussy, colicky, has an upset tummy, doesn't feel good. Those things are good to keep in mind and try. My mom also said to add um, baby Motrin. Now that I'm thinking of it, I need to add that to my list because I don't have that. Um, a and D diaper ointment, Aquaphor, so for skin and face and all that stuff. And then my friend recommended Eucerin for baby. It's the eczema relief, but it's just also gentle, gentle and natural, steroid free, fragrance free, all that stuff. I don't know what's gonna work best for my baby. I'm gonna try things out and see how he does. I don't know if he's gonna have allergies. I have so many allergies personally. My husband has none. So we'll just kind of see what baby takes on to. 
I'm also gonna store some um, newborn diapers in here. So the middle of the night, basically that's what this basket is for, is having on my dresser, be able to do some changes in the bedroom. I'm gonna keep some water wipes in here too. I've just heard really good things about those. So we're gonna try them and see if they work for us. And then I have a Hakka breast pump in here. It's not necessarily a pump, it's more like a milk catcher. So I've been doing some research on this thing. And I won this from my friend's podcast giveaway. So she started a podcast called ABCs of Matrescence. I will link them for you below. A lot of mommy um, podcasts that I love, but I definitely love hers too. And this thing catches breast milk on the side that you're not feeding on. I also bought a pump. So, um, you know, take things with a grain of salt. I'm not saying get stuff that I'm recommending because I'm obviously a first time mom who's gonna be trying all this stuff out and see what works for me. But I did get a lot of this stuff on recommendation to try, see if it works for my baby. And then I got the Spectra, I think it's one or two. It's the blue one, the breast pump. I've just heard it's really easy to clean and use. So I'm gonna try that. I've heard good things about all of them, but it was relatively affordable. And so I'm gonna try that and see how I do. Uh, bottles are also kind of tricky and controversial. All this stuff, moms are just very, you know, opinionated because stuff works for their babies. So I will see what works for my baby. I just bought all this stuff so far and obviously I'll do a review when I'm an actual mom and I know what works. So I just think this is really cool. Very affordable from Amazon. Nice to keep in the room too. So in the middle of the night, I'm like stumbling over, hopefully not, um, to change the baby and check on the baby and feed the baby and all the things. It's nice to have in the bedroom. Also on that note, I don't know if this will be my last pregnancy update video or not, so I will keep you posted on when baby is here. I'm gonna take my time to soak that up with my husband and enjoy it. I don't really know if we're gonna do like a birth vlog or I don't know how it's gonna go in the hospital. So right now in Arizona, you can have one person with you and no visitors and you can't leave. So it's gonna be a different experience, but again, keeping myself positive knowing that I just want a really healthy experience for my baby, for myself to come out from that, come home. I can have, you know, family and friends I'm comfortable with come over and see the baby that way. And I'm just really excited to see his face and to meet him. And I just can't wait to be a mom and my husband can't wait to be a dad. We're just, we are over the moon and thrilled. And it's just one of those things where it's like, let's just take in the next four to six weeks, relax, and we will definitely keep you posted. And I definitely want to introduce the baby on here once he's here. So anyway, thanks for watching this kind of video with me. It's super fun to record them. I've had such a great journey in my pregnancy. It's been really nice to have these as a time capsule to revisit, but also to share with other moms and parents. So if you have questions or you want to share anything below in the comments, I would love to read those. And thanks so much for watching. Sit short.